It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Buccaneers and the Pack. And it's all up next. There's a look at one of the most iconic sports venues in the lower 48, built back in 1957 under the title of City Stadium. We are at Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Today we've got an NFC matchup on tap, as it'll be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Green Bay Packers. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Mason Crosby of the Packers has it teed up, and off we go from Lambeau. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So out come the Bucks now for their first drive. And leading him out, their veteran quarterback. You almost feel privileged, partner, every time you get to see him run out in the field to start a game because every game, every snap, you and I both know he has the potential to do something special. And that inspires his teammates as well. They know how incredible he is. They want to give max effort as well. First for Brady. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So the penalty rightfully declined. They'll keep Hardage on the completion. Still some disagreement by the defense, though, because he thought that was just good, strong coverage, and the contact's going both ways, so why is there a flag? In the end, though, doesn't matter. Still a completed pass. Now an inside give to Bell. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. Now second and nine. Brady. Wide open receiver complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 40. 23 yards the pick up there. And on this first drive, looks like they want to get that vertical passing game going early. And they did, and what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, we're going to attack you all game long. And once you adjust to that and you start to back off, then that opens things up underneath. A really nice start for them. Great way to get the game going. Now a first down carry by Bell. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. To throw, it's Brady. And that's complete, it's Chris Godwin. And this is gonna result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 22 yard line. A really nice pickup of 14 yards and it moves the sticks. Throwing on first down is Brady. And he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. 
Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Looking to throw. Caught here by Bell. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far in the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Eighth play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. Play action. Now it's Brady. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, that was his first target of the game, and it's going to take at least one more target to get him on the board. Took a nice, substantial hit to draw that catch loose from him. Incomplete pass. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. Brady to throw again. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Bucs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. What an excellent end result for them. But let's go back to the decision, first of all, to go for it all on fourth down. A lot of pressure on the quarterback's shoulders, but they knew he could handle it. Makes the right read there, gets the ball to his receiver. They get the first down. It's now first and goal. Bell, he is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped. But what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, ends up spilling it for a loss. They'll try again with Bell. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, and now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Brady now on third and goal. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Green Bay up to the task there in coverage and forcing a fourth down. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. The fake field goal catches everyone by surprise. And the Buccaneers have taken the early lead on the road here at Lambeau. Many would call that a gutsy decision here early on to go for it fourth and goal. There was no hesitation. Field goal unit never sniffed the field. It was a message. And the message was, I trust you on offense. Go out and make this happen. Go ahead and pick it up. You know what else he said? I trust my defense as well. They don't get it. I know you're going to hold them. So it's a message to your entire team that you believe in them. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. So that one a 13-play drive in total. And it ends with a touchdown for the Bucs. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he'll very wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. And they will be led out by the youngster, the rookie, their QB. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. On first down, far. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. 
We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. To throw as far. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have the Packers first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. But give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has. And if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. They'll run on first down. It's green. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and... That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? Second down. It's green. A hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. That good for 19 at a first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. And he's blocked down just outside of the 10 at the 11. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And here he'll get it down to the seven. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Throwing is far. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. The Bucks' defense stiffens and pushes this to fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. The kick by Crosby is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives, and they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on.
After the made field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. First and ten, here's Brady. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that that one a first down pickup of eight and that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run and at that yardage gained they can run that plan any down so here's a first and ten at the 38 to throw is brady to evans on the slant and getting this just shy of midfield they'll spot it at the 49. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucs have a first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. Oh, man, that is just a flat miss. He's in the pocket. The protection holds up. He sees his man come free, but maybe he just gets a little excited about the prospect of a long touchdown. Brady again here on second and ten. He completes it to Evans. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 40. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10, right at the 40. Again, they'll throw with Brady. He's got it complete to Gronkowski. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. The ball on the 32, it's second and two. On play action, now Brady. And down he goes! They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. They'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. Yeah, some real defensive resistance there, saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Now Brady. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 15-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Second quarter now, and it's Buccaneer football as they've got it with a first and ten. From the shotgun, it's a give to Bell. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Here's second and seven. Yeah. 
Again, it's Bell. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. This is a very impressive drive, especially when you consider where they started from to now be set up first and goal. Yeah, and some nice running right there. That's what got him the first down. But at this point, I suggest open up your playbook. You can call just about what you want. Now Bell. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time he uses quickness to make a play. They'll try and run it in with Bell. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. If you're going to throw it, something quick. Godwin's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. The three-yard touchdown pass. And the Buccaneers are able to stretch out their lead. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Point after here, coming up. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So that drive spans 13 plays. And it's Chris Godwin who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. The Bucks ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. They trail now 14 to 3, an 11 point deficit as they start things out with a first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. from the gun he'll hand this off and this won't be enough to pick up the first a gain of two third and one third down and one Here's a handoff out of the gun. And he's going to have the Packers first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third in the yard. Everyone understood their role on that play. Third and one. You know the defensive guys, they're trying to get down and get low and get leverage on the offensive lineman, but they didn't allow that to happen. They created a crease and allowed him to get through for a first down. And they go play action with Favre. Looking middle, and that's complete call it a gain of six on the play and that will bring up second down they gave up the completion there but this is what zone defenses count on catching the ball and not much run after the catch from the 41 here's second and four Favre toward the sideline and look at that catch dragging the toes and that's going to be a first 
touchdown. Well done. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 right at the 40. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling them in the huddle right now. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Here's Farb to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 19. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Second and ten. Now Favre. And his throw here is incomplete. They haven't been able to stop them so far this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Back to throw again. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Tremendous field position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. Now Mason Crosby for the Packers field goal try. This from 36 yards out. The kick by Crosby is good. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14 to six now. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Oh, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? After the main field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Get a look at receiver Chris Godwin as this offense returns for their next drive. Previous series, definitely a focal point. Three catches, the touchdown grab. As a DB, your former DB, is there a number of catches on a drive you're like, oh, he got the best of us? I'm not sure there's a number but there's a great feel. And what he did on the last drive, yeah. <laughs> Especially with a touchdown. Yes. You're way, never happy. You're exactly right. The way he capped it off. So you feel that at the sideline, and now you're looking at your buddies and saying, okay, what are we going to do to take things away from him? Because I'm not sure the other guys can make those sort of plays. So let's make sure that we don't let him get going again. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big-time, spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself, we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. Now Brady throwing on second down. This is caught by Evans. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 22 yards there, a first down. Up the middle, here's Bell. And he is 
is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. On that play, it was the defensive front that won the battle. They outleveraged the offensive line, got into the backfield, and held him to no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. They'll go again with Bell. Officially nothing on that one, no gain. So they're left with still ten to go on third down. He gets nothing on back-to-back -back runs, so now you're dealing with a third and ten and probably a passing play. I would agree with that, and I would highly suggest to the play caller, check a different part of that section on your play sheet because his first two runs didn't help you at all. Find someone else who can touch the ball and maybe move it downfield. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Finally, his defense makes a stand. They've given up touchdowns in their first two drives, but here they said, we've got to put a stop to that. Good coverage there to force a punting situation and a fourth down. A fourth down, here's Jay Camarda on to punt for the box. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Ball on the 36 now. Here's a second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. Green. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. He'll drop to throw. And that will be incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. On now is the Packers punter, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. And the Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Brady now on first down. A quick pass here to Godwin. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 11 yards for number 11. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. And this is caught by Evans. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and it'll be second down. Out of the shotgun, it's Bell. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. I think what we just saw there, partner, was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. 
Throwing is Brady on third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. To throw, it's Brady. He finds his target. It's Evans. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Brady now on first down. His throw incomplete. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll look to throw again. That's complete to his receiver, Gadwin. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Now Brady. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. And now the Tampa Bay field goal unit comes out here. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good. And that will extend their lead here to 17-6. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, etc. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. The Bucks ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. On first down, Favre. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. To throw is far. Over the middle, catch made by Driver. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. A first and ten here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Ball taken in here by Brooks. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards.
Uh, they'll throw on first down with Farr. They'll find driver here. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Throwing is far. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Adams. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, a chip shot here. The kick by Crosby is good, and that'll make this an eight-point game. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, they've still been able to come away with points due to his leg. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Buccaneers out on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, this coach, has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, we, get we have not been disappointed. In the this is the kind half. of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. The Packers set to get the football first, and they are trailing on the scoreboard as we resume action, ready for the third quarter. Here's the Packers offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. So out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter, and Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, but we got a tight one and set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down, but in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went in at the half and looked at their play sheet and said, these are the plays we really like. What do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going? That one complete to Driver. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. A few moving pieces on that play because that was an RPO, was it not? It was, but one important piece that didn't move incorrectly, the offensive line. Because when you're running this play, as he continued down the line of scrimmage, sometimes the lineman can wander downfield. And if you're more than a yard downfield, it's illegal to throw the football at that point. But they held their ground, held their spot, and turned it into a nice game. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double, triple move routes to try and shake their guys free. They have, you're right, they have had no room to breathe. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally.
On now is the Packers punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. Fielded at the 20. So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll start out on the ground with Bell. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Here's second and five now from the 37. The give is to Bell. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Offensive linemen are famous for doing their job no matter who's carrying the ball. But when they have the confidence that the person carrying it can break off big time runs, that makes them block just a little bit harder. Now a draw play. This is Bell. Credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. Pistol, it's Bell. And this may be a carbon copy as he'll again be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. This defense, tough to run against, and those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get him for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. They had enough yards for the first down, but a clutch hit right there defensively. Jars it free. No first down. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. The last couple of drives have ended in punts. Maybe the crowd minds that, but you're a defensive guy. You're okay with a couple of punt drives. Listen, I'm the guy that loves a 0-0 pitch game, all right, in baseball. I can handle that going into the seventh inning. I think the crowd, though, they want to see a little bit more excitement. Let's see if someone can break something free on offense and get going. Offense at a premium the last two drives. And they go play action with Favre. And that's complete to Adams. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, give him 14. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected. But this is a good pickup here for the first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now a handoff up the middle. Green. And he'll get this to the 32. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv and you run into a tough crowd. Hands it off out of the gun. And takes this one across the 35 to the 36, a gain of about four. Here's third and three. Favre. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a 
man complete. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. He goes right back to Adams. That's complete. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs 34-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Slant to Adams. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 12 more yards there and another first down. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. That run wasn't a big breaker, but I don't think the guys on offense mind very much. They've got a nice drive going, and they might just be luring the defense in a little bit. They could probably come back with a play action, maybe go over the top. But right now, on this drive, their playbook is open. On second down, far. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Here's Favre to throw. And caught right side, Green. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Favre on second down. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Now far. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Another good drive, Charles, but it looks like another that might end in a field goal try. They've made some nice plays. They've given themselves opportunities, but as you noted, another field goal attempt coming up. And that's not how they want to end drives. They've got to figure out what's the final touch that they need to push it across the goal line. Yeah, still yet to find the end zone. The kick by Crosby is good, and that'll get the lead down to five. It can be a thankless job sometimes to be a kicker, but they're thanking him right now. That's now four field goals. He's kept him in the game. He sure has. That offense has got to find its rhythm because I'm not sure that just kicking field goals is going to allow them to win this game. the made field goal. Now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. 
Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Play action, now it's Brady. Throw right side, taken in by Godwin. Call it a gain of a yard, and that'll bring up second down. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Brady gonna throw. He'll check it down to Bell. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Brady to throw on third and one. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. A give to Bell. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Second and a couple. In motion left, Godwin. Uh, he's going to get it on the jet sweep. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. I haven't met a defensive coordinator yet that thinks second and two is a fun situation to try and defend. Playbook is wide open for an offense, partner. Nice job. Hold him to one after that eight-yard pickup on first down. Heavy set out there on third and one. Here's Brady. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. So five yards here, five on the play, and it's second down. We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now at Lambeau. It's the Bucks. They've got the football. They also are in front here on the scoreboard as we start the fourth. Nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. On play action, now Brady. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. Just because you've got the lead in the fourth, it doesn't mean you have to play it safe. I like the aggressive play call there to push it downfield. That time, it didn't work out. In 
in search of eight yards on third down. They've already converted two of these on this drive, two for two. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And this is caught. It's pulled in by Gronkowski. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Shotgun now for Brady. Makes a connection again to Godwin. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. This is bound. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Bucs are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. Extra point splits the uprights, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. And now the Packers get set to go. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. He's up to 87 yards receiving now, and it's a first down. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Now second and five. To throw is far. He'll find driver here. That'll put him at 95 receiving yards now as he's got a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. A quick throw out to Adams on the perimeter. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. They work now on second and nine. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brooks. 
And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A good-looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. Throwing his far. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Here's second and ten. From the shotgun, it's far. It's caught here by Adams. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 21. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Uh, they'll throw on first down with Favre. And that's complete. It's green here. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it's second down. Favre. He goes right back to Green. He's got it complete. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. So the completion good for six yards. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. Beautiful throw right there on third down, and it looked like this was going to be six points, but a nice touchdown-saving tackle at the end of this. Even still, this offense is knocking on the door now with a first and goal at the one. They'll try to run this one in, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of two there, second down. And that loss of yards there is not just on him. It's on the guys blocking for it. I mean, they're supposed to create some type of space or at least get a stalemate. They end up letting them through, and they ended up tackling them for a loss. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. He'll try again. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Packers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. On that sideline, they're saying that was more like it. The first down run went backwards, that time into the end zone. And I like their little bit of courage in play calling, too, because after an unsuccessful run, especially one where you lose yardage, you oftentimes go right to throw in the football. They came right back with a running play, and it paid off handsomely. Crosby with the extra point, and now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. After the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. Now is Brady. 
That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. A quick throw caught by Evans out wide. And Evans will have a box first down up near the 40-yard line. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Now Brady. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll look to throw again. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. And it's third down. Here's Brady to throw. Looking downfield for Godwin. And it's knocked away and incomplete. After what they faced during this game, where they've given up a ton of yards downfield, that has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Packers ready to take over offensively. And you sense the tide turning. They scored, then their defense forced the punt, and now a chance to ultimately take the lead here late. First down, far, and his throw is going to be incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the twenty. Here's Fard to throw. Over the middle, catch made by Driver. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. formations no misdirection just line up and run the darn ball pick up the first down i love it yeah third and short that's what you're supposed to do like you said old school smash mouth football far that one complete to driver and they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield 17 yards on the play there as the packers have the first down as well Now far. That's complete. Right side driver with it. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage, as shown by that last play. 
Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Far throw taken in by Adams. Sometimes it's hard to figure, but you can live with incompletions in this situation. You can't live with these short gains that take time off the clock. You know who loves it, this defense. Second down, eight yards to go. He's back to throw. And he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks' 15-yard line. And now all of a sudden, the shoe's kind of on the other foot. Maybe you pull the reins back here a bit? Yeah, a little bit because you got to make sure that you don't score too quickly. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. They'll look to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, Parker. They have all three timeouts. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. They'll come up now on second down. Back to throw. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over in that time, and it's going to lead to third down. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. What can they come up with here? It's third and seven. He'll look to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. What a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. And, partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last-ditch effort to try and steal this win away. So now an extra point doesn't help much. They'll try to go for two to make the difference a field goal, and they can lead it by three. It's complete, and he will not get there. He comes up short, and they're unable to push this lead to a field goal as it'll remain a one-point game. After the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll put it out to the 25. So now the Bucks down by one. A little over 30 seconds remaining. They've surrendered a double-digit lead but can rescue themselves late as they come up on first down. to throw Brady yeah to the right sideline and it falls incomplete they'll try again here second and ten to throw is Brady. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game.
This crowd turning up to decibel level. It's third and long. Brady to throw. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he will make his way out of bounds. That stops the clock, but they'll have something else to consider now. It's fourth down here. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They... And I believe the referee's been buzzed. Yeah, they want to take another look at this call, and it's certainly a big one here late in a tight game. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the officials and the folks in New York got a second look at this one, and the call is going to be overturned. Got to avoid the flags defensively. Here's fourth and long. Now Brady got to have this one. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. He's got a man complete. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. Well, this offense still has the one timeout here, remember. First and ten. On the counter, here's Bell. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. One final try now for Brady. This for all the marbles. This ball intercepted. Thought he had the pick. Flag comes in for P.I., so cancel it out. Interference. Oh, a killer for them. Thought they had a nice play. Instead, they'll be marginal of yardage against them. So no shortage of offense in this game, but a very clean game too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level for both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, and both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. I did like, Brandon, how smart they were about going about their business, though. They were high-flying, but they took care of the ball. Yeah, they did. And just keeping it clean in a game like this with all these points, you don't see that very often, even at the highest level. Job well done by both sides. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Lambeau.